Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Your Young Math Grade 3 Module 7 Lesson 1 Homework. And this is the first lesson of Grade 3 Module 7. <coughs> Alright, so let's get started. Um, Max's family takes the train to visit the city zoo. Use the RDW process to solve the problems about Max's trip to the zoo. Use a letter to represent the unknown in each problem. Sign below shows the information about the train schedule into the city. All right, so we see here the train. This is the train fare. The adult ticket costs eight dollars, and the child ticket costs six dollars. And the trains leave every fifteen minutes, starting at six in the morning. So uh, when it says use the RDW process to solve. It means read, draw, write. <coughs> All right, so let's go to A. First, let's read the problem. Max's family buys two adult tickets and three child tickets. How much does it cost Max's family to take the train to the city? All right, so now we understand what the problem is and what it's asking for. What it's asking for is what we're trying to figure out how much they paid for those two adult tickets and three child tickets. So now we can draw it out. Two adult tickets. Well, each adult ticket is $8. So you can split this into eight and eight. And three child tickets. Is six dollars. So the start tape diagram and the total is C for cost. So now we write. Now we solve the problem. So that our cost is eight plus eight plus six plus six plus six. Cost eight plus eight is sixteen. Six plus six is twelve. Plus six is eighteen. So our cost is 34. That means Max's family <coughs> paid $34. All right, B. Max's father pays for tickets with $10 bills. He receives $6 and change. How many $10 bills does Max's father use to pay for the train tickets? All right, so we know the cost um, was 34. So he has at least four $10 bills. And that is because if he had three $10 bills, that wouldn't even be enough for 34. So he wouldn't even get any change. But he has four $10 bills. And we'll add on that $6 he received in change. So how many dollar bills? Well, he received a total of 34. So, let's think about this. If he got six dollars in chain and it cost thirty four, then thirty four plus six is forty. So then, um, just label this amount. I don't know. Forty divided by, um. Four ten dollar bills divided by the time ten dollar bills is four. So that means he used four ten dollar bills. Alright now see Max's family wants to take the fourth train of the day. It's six thirty eight AM now. How many minutes do they have to wait for the fourth train? 
Alright, I think best thing to do here is make a timeline. First, this will be 6 a.m. Because if you look up here, it says leaves every 15 minutes starting at 6 a.m. So 6 a.m. is a benchmark. It's the very start. Every 15 minutes, a train leaves. So 6.15, that's the first train. No, first train, second train. 6.30, 6.45, and this will be 7 o'clock. So the fourth train will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And they're right on time. This is the train that they want to board. How many minutes do you have to wait? 6.45 minus 6.38 is 7. So that means they need... To wait seven minutes. <coughs> All right, next page. Number two. At the city zoo, they see 17 young bats and 18 adult bats. The bats are placed equally into four areas. How many bats are in each area? All right, so let's draw a tape diagram for our four areas. So, there are four areas. Now at the city zoo, 17 young bats and 19 adult bats. So it doesn't matter what kind of bat they are, they're all still placed and separated into four areas. So 17 plus 19 is 36. So we can distribute 36 evenly among the four areas. So that'd be one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. <coughs> All right, so you see in each area we have a total of nine tally marks, which means because this is a bundle five plus four is nine, which means there are nine bats in each area. All right, now number three. Max's father gives a cashier twenty dollars to pay for six water bottles. Cashier gives him eight dollars and change. How much does each water bottle cost? All right, so. For six water bottles, gets $20. And $8 left over and change. <coughs> so, if we subtract the change, it's 12, so that's the actual amount he spent on the water bottles. So we can distribute 12 among the six water bottles. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look at that. So two dollars per water bottle. That means each water bottle costs two dollars. <coughs> All right. And number four, the zoo has one hundred twelve types of reptiles and amphibians in their exhibits. 
There are 72 types of reptiles and the rest are amphibians. How many more types of reptiles are there than amphibians in the exhibits? All right, so total number would be 112. So there's 72 reptiles, so we're trying to figure out how many are amphibians. 1 to 12 minus 72, that would give you 40. So I mean there are 40 amphibians, but we're not done yet. Testing how many more types of reptiles are there than amphibians in this exhibit. 72 reptiles. Minus the 40 amphibians, I'll give you 32. That means there are 32 more types of reptiles. So, yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!